Walking into Central Middle School Gymnasium, you would have found science projects from 3rd through 5th grade elementary students showcasing their science projects at the district science fair. Students from all areas of the district met at Central on May 5, 2013 to compete and present their science experiments before the judges. This science fair is represented by 11, middle, 11 elementary schools and we have 267 projects from all over the district. Third grade participants Enrique and Imomara de Anda presented their experiment on the velocity and pressure from two rockets calling it 4 3 2, 1, blast off. The inquisitive pair spent long hours after school conducting experiments and diligently documenting their findings to answer their hypothesis. My project is about rockets and what we did is we got, uh, we got a launcher and we put the rockets up like this and then we stepped on the bottle and the bottle went flying. We thought that the, that the smallest one would go the farthest because it's the lightest but the bigger one went the farthest because it has more air in the tube. Our project works by, it go, it, you stomp on it and the air comes through here and this rocket, it goes right here and it launches a rocket. Our question is which rocket would go the farthest? The biggest rocket went the farthest because it took more air inside the rocket. And what did you all use to measure the distance? Fifth grade duels Aaron and Andy were kind enough to demonstrate to Kay Wes their science project called Gassy Sodas. Third theory questioned which of the two sodas produced the most gas when baking soda is applied. Well, our project um, is about which soda will produce more gas. We have regular Coca-Cola and Diet Coca-Cola and what we did was in the two Cokes they have vinegar and vinegar and baking soda they make a reaction. We measured baking soda into a bag to measure like if each one had the same and when after we did that we put the baking soda um, inside the two Cokes, Coca-Cola and Diet Coke and we would put a balloon on top of the two Cokes that way we could see which, like, how much gas it would produce and how much gas would go into the balloon. We got two different types of coke and uh, we were trying to see which one um, produced more gas and we had, uh, we were guessing that this one would uh, produce more gas. My conclusion was that the regular Coca-Cola has more gas than Diet Coca-Cola. While interviewed and evaluated, the participants are judged on specific areas of knowledge, comprehension, and presentation. Klecklert held science teacher Erica Salasad was among one of the judges impressed with four students that integrated technology into their observation. Technology has actually helped. We brought actually four contestants that are, did their um, science fair project through a PowerPoint and they're presenting through PowerPoint. These kids went all out. They did their best. They were able to incorporate everything in through their PowerPoint, which I thought was excellent. Um, and uh, there's a lot of, you can tell they use their technology through all the pictures that they did on their boards and stuff, all their research. They need to do some research. They need to do follow the scientific method. They will do, uh, figure out what they're going to be testing their problem. How their hypothesis and then continue with their research. So technology uh, help us a lot in organizing the data, typing the data, and it helps the students uh, give them more skills on using Excel. So technology is the biggest and uh, most helpful tool for the students while they're developing this project. And most of them develop a very good quality project and most of them generated a lot of graphs and and data because of technology use. The expressions on the participants' faces flourished with personal achievement and the rewarding feeling of accomplishment as their models were exhibited for observers to view. The District Science Fair presented the opportunity for elementary students to apply basic scientific methods to conduct independent research. As elementary students from Wessico ISD spent months exploring testing and conducting science experiments, the students gained more than learning something new, but applying extended knowledge that goes beyond basic research. Interning for KOS TV, I'm Laura Pina.